Maybe a pleasant good day, folks. This is Sports Planet News on Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe at the easy to use widget at the end up above or below on the subscribe button right now. And subscribe over at the Pure Love Wisdom Show because we've talked about the Canucks and they're now 6 10 and 2, who just beat the Winnipeg Jets, who are now 9 4 and 4. A very good hockey team to end their five game losing streak. And we talked about their struggles on his show. He's definitely a great show to follow as well. Um, three to five each day Eastern time, but the Canucks were more aggressive in this game. They drove the net and they played a way more consistent game. Um, they were able to just keep, keep the game more simple. Thatcher Demko played like a bat out of hell, made a great game saving save, obviously in the literally final dwindling seconds of the game, and also Ekman Larson had a great. Firing Rister from the point that it didn't seem like Comrie could see. Comrie hasn't played in two weeks, rightfully so. They have one of the best freaking goalies in the league on the other side in Winnipeg in Connor Hellbuck. So it makes sense, but he kind of looked like a guy flailing a little bit in the first, letting the one go through him, obviously, that luckily did not go in for Winnipeg. Jets fans ended up going through the crease, but he looked like a guy that didn't play in two weeks. That's what I had in my game notes uh, for this game. Um, but the Vancouver Canucks, they played a disciplined game. It was finally a disciplined game, a game that they did not get out of their heads and just kind of not play the game of hockey that you were accustomed to them seeing when Travis Green first took over and not recently when they have been having their struggles and woes. So in this game, they got back to the basics and they just were able to play a nice, concise game. And getting back to the basics is also what got the local Larry, area native, excuse me, Kyle Burrows, the defenseman, his first goal, of course, that he was able to pot while crashing the net when Tyler Myers also just kept it simple, stupid, and got a nice assist, his sixth of the season, having a solid season for him as well, start to the season for him. Just keeping it simple and firing a wrist or arm when it comes to the assist totals for Myers. A solid start, I should say. So the Canucks, this was one of their better games of the season for sure. They looked a lot better. They just kept the game simple. And that's what Pirlo and I talked about on his great Pirlo Wisdom show. That we just had to see this team keep it simple. And they would probably be able to get more wins. Crash the net and play a game that you're able to play with guys. You have Chase on. You obviously have guys like... um. Lamico as well, who's able to crash the net. And then you have guys like Mott, who are very pesky little players that have no fear of anybody whatsoever. And, of course, Burroughs, who's a, obviously a defenseman that has no problem doing it himself. You don't necessarily want your defense down there all the time, but he doesn't have any issue doing that whatsoever. And then Besser and others can be good in front of the net. So you want to be able to just simplify the game when you're not playing great you're in a losing skid. The way to end it the best is just to simplify it, get shots on net. Obviously, don't be taking stupid shots like shooting it into people and getting frustrated, but the Canucks did not do that. They played one of the better games of the season tonight, and they earned this win. They did get outshot 39-29, to 29, but that's what you have Thatcher Demko for. He made some very key saves, very pivotal, pivotal saves, excuse me, and that's why he is quickly becoming one of the better, I would say, eight, getting closer and closer to being an A-grade goaltender, definitely, at this point of his career, and definitely a B-plus one at this point, that's for damn sure, because he is a guy that steals games for you, and obviously had that hell of a playoff, so if not already, he's definitely damn near close to moving from that B-plus to the A-grade goaltending, at least at the A-minus level for sure, where Hellbuck, of course, is A-grade goaltending, but he wasn't in, and Comrie showed kind of the two Weak woes of goaltenders not getting wep reps, but he wasn't going to save any of the shots tonight. He definitely wasn't going to save that absolute dynamite of a shot from Connor Gorland. He's a fun player to watch and at his best. He can be one of the game's best scorers when really, if he has the right people around him, and he's just firing the puck and not overthinking it, and that's what he did tonight. He just shot that one right at the net and smoked the post and got that one in back board down past Comrie. And Demko was just really on fire tonight. He would be, honestly, my first star of the game just for being able to steal the show in some saves and obviously making the pivotal save in the dwindling seconds. And then it was 
the overall play, the discipline play, that has to be a star. That's the second star of the game, just the Canucks discipline, because that has not been something we're accustomed to saying. I tagged Pirlo in a tweet saying that it's not custom we've been accustomed to saying, and they had that discipline game today. And also, just because he kept his hot streak um, going, I would say a guy that was a star in this game, and he looked good on the ice. Otherwise, he's a points-per-game guy this year. Would be uh, PLD, Pierre-Luc Dubois, even in a losing effort. There's two, we have to remember, is still only 23. He's still a hell of a player, and he's a guy that was very good at one time in Columbus at a very young age, and then had a falling out with Tortorella, and it happens. That happens. He's rebounding now, having a great season, so that's why I'm going to put him at one of the stars of this game. But Burroughs is definitely going to be a guy that deserves a shout-out. Got his first goal. Congratulations to the local area native. This has been a reaction to the 3-2 win, putting the Vancouver Canucks at 6-10-2, and, and the Winnipeg Jets at 9-4-4, according to the NHL app in front of me here. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Peace out and stay safe.